Part 2 Michelangelo's David Portrait In this video, we will continue the portrait of Michelangelo's David. Here, you will discover the correct sequence of techniques of rendering tonal values in graphite pencil. In the previous video, we did a constructive drawing of David's head. Now, I will finish outlining hair curls to complete the linear drawing. For the job, I will use three well-sharpened graphite pencils. You may go for HB and 2B grades of graphite. Always make sure your pencil has sharpened lead. It is very difficult to achieve good-looking pencil strokes with blunt tips. I begin rendering places, which are the darkest. As you can see at this step, I do not concentrate on small details. Instead, I block out the dark areas, visually separating them from light parts of the head. It is very important to apply light pressure on the pencil in the beginning. The tonal rendering has to progress very gradually, so you don't want to use the full strength a pencil can provide. Good rendering has to be done in multiple layers. We will come back to the same areas to darken them up several times while developing the range of tonal values. When drawing in graphite pencil, it is very important not to smudge pencil strokes with a blending tool or your finger. It is an amateur mistake. By blending graphite marks, you will get mud, which is very unattractive in a drawing. The beauty of the graphite artwork is in separate, nicely formed strokes. Instead of smudging, you need to learn how to make your pencil strokes look attractive and beautiful. Don't be afraid of showing your pencil strokes even in smooth areas, like the cheek for example. Pencil strokes are your unique signature. They contribute to your creative style and make it recognizable. You don't want to smudge your style and signature. When smaller details are finished and I'm satisfied with their tonal values, it is time, once again, to unite areas of the drawing by applying longer strokes above smaller details.